Preference management typically represents a crossover initiative, one that begins as a marketing project, gains traction through IT, and finds valuable application in customer service and support. Moreover, in its aim to unify the company's view of a consumer and make information available through a central repository, an effective preference management program acts as a silo breaker inside companies, encouraging a holistic view of the customer interaction. But because so many different departments are involved, it can be very complicated. Once the educational and budgetary hurdles are cleared and an enterprise has decided to introduce preference management into its technology architecture, a new challenge arises. Where to begin? For some, the challenge is artificially enlarged by the ideal they hope to attain. Preference collection at every touch point, seamless integration between systems, and a holistic view of every customer. Overwhelmed by the sheer scope of work, the project team cools and inertia becomes a threat. However, the model for success is a series of steps, each one building on the last, each further proving the validity of the original value proposition and demonstrating its worth in a progressive series of tests. Enterprise-sized companies are made up of hardware, software, and various systems designed to connect them all together. Authority over these assets, and in some cases liabilities, are spread between multiple departments and business units. In addition, some enterprises' corporate leadership structures are ill-equipped to meet the diverse challenges presented during the implementation process. This video provides a clear and comprehensible path towards implementation. While there are many variables, the information is intended to offer useful guideposts with application to a broad array of organizations and needs.